I'm Alexey Zvalov. I'm the regional coordinator of Global Game Jam in Ukraine, and also I'm an indie game developer and associate professor of Robert Elvorti Economical and Technological Institute. Today I'd like to talk about the community. One of the core missions of the Global Game Jam is to bring together people who are fond of game development. Imagine a single person who is making games at home and showing them only to the close friends and family. They might not have the faintest idea on how many people share the same passion to game development in their own city, in their country or in the whole world until they meet likely-minded people at the Jam location. Ukraine joined the worldwide community of Global Game Jam in 2016. And this brought such an exciting feeling of connection and unification. It is so inspiring to look at the map and see that while you are brainstorming the game theme, producing visuals, or fixing those naughty bugs which always appear 10 minutes before the game submission, thousands of people in hundreds of cities across the whole world are doing the same. Online streams and cross-location video interviews further enhance this sense of belonging. You see that you are not alone. And so many people will understand you. It is incredible. Global Game Jam in Ukraine also served as a focal point for the local game dev community's growth. After the initial boost given by Global Game Jam in the beginning of the year, in January or February, we kept the community living via other events and sessions. Many teams continued to work on their games afterwards. And then they showcased uh, the, uh, these games at the international conferences. Often at these conferences, they had chance to meet face to face uh, the global game jam participants from other countries. And it is so joyful, helpful and inspiring. Even uh, switching to the online mode uh, due to the pandemics, uh, did not slow down the community creativity. Last Global Game Jam, we had over uh, 350 developers and 55 games made in Ukraine. We were looking forward to expand all those exciting games, to establish new connections and launch new activities. But then, on the 24th of February 2022, was the day when Russia started the full-scale invasion against Ukraine and when the first Russian missiles struck Ukrainian cities, killing innocent people. As soon as the news uh, reached uh, the other countries, we started receiving messages from our friends worldwide. This is another powerful sign of connection in the worldwide game development community which we experienced. The simple question, how are you, gained a whole new meaning for the Ukrainians since then. From a simple greeting phrase, it changed to a sign indicating that the person asking does really care. And this helped us stand. Your care, your support to those Ukrainians who had to leave the country, to those who had to stay and fight, to those who lost their houses, health, loved ones. All this helps. We are deeply thankful to all the help and support we are receiving from you, our friends. Today, if you look at the Global Game Jam map, you won't see locations in Ukraine. But this is a safety measure. No place in Ukraine can be safe from being a name of the Russian missiles. So we have to run our locations in the stealth mode. We hope to show you the games from Ukraine after the jam. And we never forget that if we have a chance to make games now, this is all thanks to the protection of Ukrainian defense forces and help we are receiving from our friends from the whole world. Sometimes it is said that games are a way to escape from reality. Sadly, but the reality might be such that it doesn't allow you to escape. War, which is right now fought against Ukraine, is such a case and we must face this reality together. Therefore, I ask you to keep supporting Ukraine by increasing awareness and donations. There is fund Game Dev Under Bombs. It is run by the Game Development Conference organizers. 
there is a Comeback Alive Fund. There is a President's Initiative United24. It is possible to select a direction you want to help – medical aid, defense, or rebuilding. Your help can literally save lives. Thank you. For GGJ 2023, I wish you, first of all, peaceful gem. Sometimes we don't notice something until it's lost. Use this gem as a chance to strengthen your community connections. Look at the people at your location, if you are jamming physically, or at your chat, if online. Don't be too shy to come to people around you and tell about yourself. Remember that those people have the same interests as you do. And if you feel that you have possibility, help less experienced Game Jam participants. Ask how are you question in a meaningful way. Have great and peaceful jam and good luck to you.